What's going on? Welcome to this tutorial. I'll be uninstalling the Vortex Generator from my 2020 STI. I'll show you how to remove it and how to deal with the resulting mess of 3M tape that will inevitably be left on the car. Now all of this can just as easily apply to anything attached to the outside of your car with 3M tape. My car came with a Vortex Generator and honestly I just didn't like it. Plus one of the corners was a bit loose and it was lifting, which indicated to me that the install was subpar to begin with. Let me know in the comments section what you think, or if you prefer the car with it on. Let's get to it. So 3M tape is difficult to remove if it's installed correctly, and that's even more true if it's cold outside. So I'm using a heat gun to heat up the tape and make the job easier. This side was installed very poorly, and it didn't give me too much trouble coming off because of that. If I didn't remove the vortex generator, over time this side would have started to come loose as the tape under it dried up. The right side is a much better representation of what you can expect if the piece you're removing was installed correctly to begin with. Generally, if the piece was installed for a long time, it will be more difficult to remove. While the other side was already lifting, on this side the 3M tape is fully cured onto the metal, so use a panel removal tool to get under it just to get it started. Once you can get under it, grab your heat gun and loosen the tape up a bit. The heat will make the adhesive pliable and it'll make it so that you can actually remove the piece slowly. Some heat guns like the one I'm using are very powerful so take care not to linger on the same spot or too closely. The idea is to go slowly and get under it so that you can get enough leverage to grab it. It might help to cut the tape a bit with a panel tool if you can get to it. Once it starts getting difficult it's time to add more heat and then the process basically repeats until the piece comes out completely. Now that the piece is off, let me take a second to show you the importance of a quality installation. You can see on the left here that the tape is largely undisturbed and it came off very easily compared to the right. This can happen if you don't fully clean the surface upon installation. If you install the piece in a cold environment, it can happen if you don't apply enough pressure to the piece so that it adheres to the metal properly or if you don't let the adhesive cure properly before use. Now we're left with a mess of 3M tape on the car. There's a few ways to go about this and how you handle it will largely depend on how old the tape is and how well it's cured onto the car. If the 3M tape is fairly new, you might be able to get away with heating it up with a heat gun and then just rolling it with your fingers as you see me doing. This might work for very small pieces, but for a large piece, it will start hurting your fingers. There's a much better way of doing this. What I have here is a Wonder Wheel decal remover. I'll link to this in the video description if you want to look into it, but basically this is a wheel of very soft rubber that is meant to go on a drill. It's very inexpensive and I would recommend having one around if you like to tinker with cars as it will eventually come in handy to remove 3M tape or decals or any sticky substance that might end up on the paint job. Once you get it on the drill, make sure that it's on tight and that you maintain good control of the drill. Now, how fast you rotate the wheel will largely depend on how tacky what you're removing is. Because this 3M tape is fairly new, it's still very tacky, so it really grabs onto the soft rubber of the wheel, so it's best to give a short burst at very low speeds, as you see me doing. If your tape is dried up, you might apply more pressure and rotate the wheel a bit faster. As you apply pressure against the car, you might see some of the white residue left behind and that's just the soft rubber of the wheel. That's a good thing because it's so soft it won't damage the car's paint and that's the whole point of this. That also means that the wheel will get smaller over time with use as it loses material. So it's not a tool that's meant to last forever which is one of the reasons why it's so cheap. After I get this cleaned up, I'm basically done with this particular removal, but only because my car is new. If you're trying this yourself and the piece you're removing was on the car for an extended period of time, you might have some ghosting left behind caused by the area under the piece weathering at a different pace than the rest of the car. So to deal with the ghosting, if you have any, I'll show you how I remove the ghosting left behind after debadging my last car. 
Start by using a small amount of polishing compound on a microfiber cloth. Be sure to first prime the cloth and then simply work the surface as you see me doing. Polishing compound is mildly abrasive and it's a good starting product for this task. If your particular job left behind a surface that is heavily oxidized and weathered, you might want to start with rubbing compound instead. But remember that these are abrasive chemicals and you are literally taking off a microscopic layer of your clear coat. So you definitely want to make sure that you start with the mildest product that will get the job done. That's gonna do it for this video. I hope you got something out of it. And if you did, be sure to leave it behind a like. If you haven't already, consider subscribing for more content like this. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next video. Take care.